welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Brianna and we are getting ready for the Walt Disney World vlog I am so excited I'm headed to Walt Disney World today actually at 8 40 at night with one of my best friends Casey who's a former Walt Disney World cast member we met at work but we actually went to college together but we weren't really that close in college and then we like got kind of back together at work and we're still really great friends to this day so I am so excited we're doing a girls weekend Disney trip and I am vlogging the entire thing if you're new to the channel hi welcome my name is Brianna I do a ton of Disney travel and lifestyle vlogs so come along on the journey we just have a lot of fun around this little corner of the internet and if you're not new you're probably like Brianna one pack and probe with me and one regular holistic Disney and vlog. And no, Corey oh. coming along? Yeah, Rude. he's very upset. He's wearing his Disney polo today to commemorate as if he was going. But I decided for this girl's trip that I really wanted to just do one big Walt Disney World vlog over like the course of three to four days just to really enjoy with one of my friends, Casey. So I don't know how long the vlog is going to be. Might be long, might be short. It's also going to be like 98 degrees. So feeling like 105 to 108 degrees in Orlando this weekend. So I'm not looking forward to that because it's going to be super hot but I am excited to just head to Walt Disney World with one of my best friends so we're headed out now we're in Rhode Island Corey's dropping me off at the train station here I'm taking the Amtrak into Boston into Back Bay and then just getting in an Uber from Back Bay to the airport we got really good flights out of Boston she's also like from Boston like in the Massachusetts area so it made much more sense for us to fly out of here instead so with that being said let's start the Disney World vlog and let's head to Boston to Walt Disney World for those of you that have not met Casey. This is my bestie. We're traveling to Disney for the whole weekend together. Yay. And I'm excited for you to be in the vlogs. Yeah, finally. Yes. Not just on a FaceTime call. No, not just on FaceTime. <laughs> She's actually here in real life. We just made it to Pop Century. It feels like a sauna outside and I remember packing and being like Casey do you think I'll like need a sweater at night and she's like no I don't definitely not because she's been to Disney a ton of times in August and I wasn't sure if I believed her and I walked outside of that airport at 1 a.m. and it was 86 degrees and let me tell you I'm glad I brought my little fan because <laughs> it's gonna be hot but oh, yeah. We are going to do a quick room tour. I've been to pop a ton so we're just gonna do a quick room tour and then we're gonna unpack because it is 1 11 in the morning and we are sleepy gals and we're going to studios tomorrow, which is Casey's favorite park, like of all time. Woo! So we need to be up bright and early because yeah. I'm getting her on the genie kick. Casey's normally not a genie gal, but when she travels with me, no. girls trip. she is. Girls, girls trip, trip, girls trip, we do everything. So <laughs> let me do a quick room tour and then we'll see you tomorrow at studios. Alrighty, so here we are. We are in room 355 in the 70s and Casey actually hasn't been here since the refurb So I'm excited for her to stay here, but as you all know Corey and I have been here a ton We've also been here with my dad. This is a Murphy bed So one of us will sleep on this you can pull this down and then we take the two chairs and we move them We've got another queen bed and then I just love the little like light Mickey detail It doesn't feel too much, but it feels just Disney enough and then Casey's in the bathroom starting to unpack Which is good because I'd like to do the same and then you have welcome Tata and Harkin party I've never seen two names up there let alone the name of like one of my best friends so it's really cool to see both of our names up there we've got some drawer space which is good little refrigerator and some stackables up here and then we will head into the bathroom we've got as always little closet up here for some nice storage space lots of like shelving stuff Casey's got her toiletries me at 1 15 a.m. just vibing and then we've got our shower which I love the showers I think what happens is when you are not bringing children you can say that it's just two adults and they won't give you a tub so instead it's just like the flat shower and then you know my favorite the h2o product so I look pretty crazy and that's okay but we are ready for bed like I said it's 1 15 in the morning Casey and I have had long days of like traveling to meet each other in Boston our flight was delayed like probably like 35 40 ish minutes Which we ended up getting in at about the same time that we should have like we knew we were gonna get here this late Which just made sense for us and the way that we were traveling together today, but 
this is quick little traveling to Disney like I said in the beginning normally I do like individual day vlogs but because I want to just enjoy a girl's trip and like I said in my reset just have a slow August summer and like enjoy the last bit of it this is gonna be an entire Disney vlog of just the next four days over the next four days quick synopsis we are doing Hollywood Studios Magic Kingdom and Epcot and a full day at Disney Springs so we're here for four days five nights I think three nights four nights how many nights What's today? Ask me in the morning. Yeah, I'll ask you in the morning. And I'm taking Casey, my baby Casey, on her first ever Topolino's dinner experience. Now, if you're not new to the channel, then you know that I love Topolino's, so I'm so excited to take Casey. And yes, Corey is 100% jealous that we're going without him. But with that, as he should be jealous. So, good night, everyone. We're going to bed. We're going to unpack, have some relaxing girl time, put on some Mickey cartoons, and we'll see you at studios bright and early tomorrow. The girls are up. The girls are ready. We just did some o OTDs for Casey's TikTok. It is 9.05, we're heading into studios now. We just got some waters. I'm not a water in the parks girly. Casey and I talk about this. Florida water makes me like violently ill. So I'm just like a buy water bottles girly. And since we're only here for a few days, it's just easier for us to like get waters here. So we, we're we all about convenience. And we all know I love IV. convenience. Oh yeah, and so liquid IV every morning so we don't die. It's very hot. Um, like I said, my first time here in August. I'm enjoying it. My hair is down. You're all probably like, Brianna, where's the bun? The bun's coming, but I did do like a full hair wash to see if I could get the entire trip without washing the hair, but give it like three hours. And I've got my ears, little tank, Disney's Hollywood Studios shorts, some sneaks. Casey's got airy tank. We all love an outfit of the day. Abercrombie mm -hmm. shorts, Nike Nikes. sneaks, her and Harry Styles hat, and her Kylo Ren Kylo button. Kylo Ren. SNL skit button. which we love all right so we're headed to studios Yee! We've walked around, we went to Starbucks, we did a little hot girl walk up and down Sunset Boulevard. And it is now 10.45, so because I booked a like slinky lightning lane for us this morning, I couldn't book again until 10.30. But we are now headed to Toy Story Mania because the minute it was like readily available, I was able to book it. We did single rider for Millennium Falcon and we literally walked right on and rode together and there was only four people with us. So that was the dream. But Casey, if you're new to the channel, uh, my fiance and I have this like running thing where we see who can beat the other at Toy Story Mania. The joke is that I don't win and it's not really a bit, it's just he beats me every time. But I'm with somebody new, so I, like we don't know each other's skill. My skill's not very high, but like Casey's might be really good. And Casey's had years to practice. So we're gonna see who can beat who. I'll keep you updated on who the winner is, but we're headed over to Toy Story Mania now, and then after that, we don't know. We're just kind of going with the flow for this trip, okay? Come on, come on, come on. Darn it! Casey took the crowd, but that's pretty high for me. That's mine, that's Casey's. I mean, I have pretty good accuracy. All right, I'm not sure if I'm blurry or not. I can't really tell, but I can tell you one thing. It is hot, so I'm standing under an umbrella. Casey is grabbing some water. We just did, like you saw, Toy Story Mania. I lost. Corey was like, I thought I taught you better than this. And I was like, great boss. I guess not. We also have Woody and um, Bo Peep, like the 50th statue that's still up, which is cute. But we are now heading on to Mickey and Minnie's because it just reopened after being closed down for a little while. So we're gonna go do that. And then we also just did Rock and Roller Coaster. Let me tell you, doing single rider is so nice because you just, Get on, get off, right? Like you're not talking during the ride, which is nice. Casey just grabbed a water. So we're heading on to Minnie and Mickey's now. It's a hot, scorching day. And then we're gonna probably do what well, we're doing rise and then quick service at our resort and then we're gonna do some swimming because it's so hot. But let's go on Mickey and Minnie's and enjoy the rest of the day.
ladies and gentlemen, we have enjoyed our afternoon at the pool. I am sweaty, gross, and hot, and I look just like an absolute demon because I have never sweat so much in my life. And where Disney is so magical and so beautiful, let me tell you, it's giving Barcelona Europe from this past summer because it's like feels like 101 and it is just hot so we're just the hair is up we've got it going but we did some shopping I ended up getting a Disney visor and like an oversized Disney tee and a long sleeve as well Casey and I got the same shirt and the same visor because it was just giving like coastal Disney grandma country club vibes and we just needed to have the visor and we're gonna single-handedly bring the Disney visor back and of course you know I got a big fat fountain diet soda and some popcorn I am so excited I'm just gonna sit here and really Relax. Casey's going to go ride Tower of Terror, but you all know I'm not like a Tower of Terror girly. So I've got my little snack. We're sitting. Casey's here. We're scrolling. We're just enjoying. We're sweating our absolute ass off. I've got my little Mickey fan, which died today. So I'm just going to sit here, have a little warm breeze because it ain't cold, that's for sure. <laughs> Dry off and uh, enjoy my soda and my popcorn. Alrighty, I have since cooled down slightly, but I would love to know. Comment down below if you are an Orlando local or are in the parks in the August months. How do uh, how do you do it? Because it is so unbelievably hot. Like I'm just so like shiny and glistening from sweat, and I also feel like sometimes hat makes my like my eyes look so like dark and raccoony. But it is what it is. But just a little check in, waiting for Casey to finish up. Now I am like finally cooled down which feels really good i've drank like a good amount of my as you can see my soda and after this we have Minnie and mickey's again because we queued for it before it took a while you know i'm not normally a cure but because it was closed all day and we had some time to kill we just did that and then we are doing slinky tonight and fantastic so just a quick little check-in while i wait for casey and chat with you guys i'm excited that this vlog just feels a little different we ended up going to the pool this afternoon it was so lovely but it was so unbelievably hot like i said if you're like an Orlando girl or galley, like how do you, does your body just like get used to it? Because wow, is it pretty warm and pretty hot. But it's it's still so much fun. It just is hot and you have to be like mentally prepared for that. So we ended up doing a little like pool afternoon. We ended up doing lunch actually at our resort at Pop. I ended up getting like the pulled pork sandwich and a side of mac and cheese. Casey did the same. And then we just did the, like put the pulled pork with the mac and cheese. So that was good. And yeah, we're not doing like, I don't think we're going to do like dinner dinner tonight because our like lunch was pretty big. So I'm just waiting for her to finish up now and drinking my soda, relax. Saying, I don't know, maybe I'll probably get hungry in a little bit. I did pretty much eat like majority of my popcorn in here, which was delicious. I like my popcorn bucket though. Like that's like six bucks for that when I get a popcorn refill for my two dollars or whatever it is. But it is time to rest, relax, Mickey and Minis. I'm not gonna take you on Slinky this trip. Corey and I will take you on Slinky when we come on our next trip and I just want to kind of enjoy it, but I will show you fantastic. So we're just hanging out, we're relaxing. Just want to do a little check-in. This vlog is different than what I normally do if you're new to the channel. I normally come to Disney with my fiance and I vlog each individual day separated out, but I just want to enjoy my girls trip with one of my girls and it's just really fun. Got some merch over here and it's just been a lovely day. So I wanted to just do a little check-in and yeah, it feels different for me, but it feels just nice to not be in front of the camera as much. And it's just been a nice little relaxing. cleaning my camera lens because uh, the humidity and the wetness <laughs> she came out damp she was a little damp and she was just living her best life but we are at the Magic Kingdom today I'm so excited for Magic Kingdom this is my like you all know my second favorite park because it just gives me like nostalgia and I feel like this is just the epitome of girls trip. oh yeah like I think our day today is just gonna be yeah. girl trip city Casey's rocking the new visor She's living her best like tennis girl life and uh, we both got matching visors yesterday but I didn't wear mine today because I have like a little bit of my tinted sunscreen on and I didn't want to get it like dirty on the first day but 
I got my other hat because it's probably going to be hot today. But we're in Magic Kingdom. We're so excited for the day. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's head into Magic Kingdom. You probably can see like right above me. We've got some fall decorations, but with 85 degree weather at 9:35, it's giving fall, but it's giving confusion because it's very hot. It's giving Orlando holiday schedule. Yeah, it's giving Orlando holiday schedule from the former Disney cast member herself. So we're headed into Magic Kingdom. Let's go see the Mickey Pumpkins, and we have a Lightning Lane for Pirates. So we're gonna get some coffee, go ride Pirates, and we're gonna have a beautiful Magic Kingdom day. because it's just so like fun to be here but let me tell you it is so hot festival of fantasy is coming and i have never seen it so we're gonna do a full video over but i want to just do like a quick intro so sorry if there's like just not a lot of clipping this morning so far but let's get into festival of fantasy Ladies and gentlemen, it is the next day at 11.30. And that is because I did not vlog literally at all yesterday in Magic Kingdom because we just had a nice, fun day. Sorry if you can hear like music. I need some air conditioning bad. Like I'm down bad, need some air. And we are in like the brewing lab in Epcot, but we had the best day at Magic Kingdom yesterday. We did Tron at night. We ended up waiting for it because it was down and then it came back up again. So. I hope you enjoyed Festival of Fantasy because that was like literally all I vlogged. But we had a relaxing morning at Magic Kingdom and then we ended up coming back and doing like a ton of rides at night. Super fun, nice day. We're gonna vlog a lot more at Epcot today just so I make sure. And we're going to Topolino's tonight and there's new summer menu items. Corey's jealous because he's not here to try them. But we're gonna have a nice day. Like I said, it's 11.30 so this morning we booked Lightning Lane for Frozen. We have a Lightning Lane for Remy's tonight. We have two Guardians reservations. I'm. I'm not hoping for September on this trip because Corey will be upset, but if me and Casey get it, we're gonna, I'm gonna take it with me to my grave. Like, I'm not even gonna tell you guys because Corey will be upset. So, I'm, fingers crossed for Conga, honestly, because I've always wanted that one, so I'm hoping for that. And we're just gonna have a nice day. I hope this music doesn't copyright me because that would be quite bad. Um, but we're just hanging out. We're supposed to get a little bit of rain this afternoon. Hopefully that washes away the humidity because it is hot. And it is 11.35. Oh, I think the Muppets like come on on the screen. So now I'm definitely gonna, yeah, here it is. So we're going to ride Spaceship Earth. Love you guys. And we'll vlog a lot more today. We have made our way to the It Girl. You all know she's my favorite. Casey's vibing. It is very hot, but we're having good times. We're gonna go ride Spaceship Earth. So let's go get some air conditioning. I bought some stuff at Creations and we're gonna have a great day. So three things going. So we just got off of Guardians. We got Iran. I'm not lying, like cross my heart, we did get Iran. We both of us were very happy. I'm hoping for Conga tonight. I like I said, I don't want to get September without Corey, but we did get Iran today. I'm not lying about that. But we're eating at Connections because Casey loves their grilled chicken sandwich and I've never eaten in here, so I'm excited. So I'll show you what I got. And then she got the chicken sandwich, which I obviously I will turn the camera and show you. Now I'm just like rambling. So I just got the burger. I've already eaten half my fries and then honey mustard. Casey said this is some like zesty sauce ranch. 
Without in diet, Casey got lemonade. You're a juice gal. Yeah. Ranch, chicken sandwich, and french fries. I'm excited to, I may have to have a bite of your sandwich. So we have made it to Disney's Riviera because we have a Topolino's dining reservation. It's 6.20, our reservation is at 6.35, which is, I feel like, the perfect time. And I would like to say that I have literally one time in my entire Disney career gotten a Topolino's reservation at a normal dining hour, other than this one. Normally, if you're like if you're not new to the channel, then you know that Corey and I eat at Topolino's at like 9.25 or nine o'clock, because it's the only reservation I ever can get. And I'm excited, they have some stuff on their summer menu, so I'll make sure to vlog like the entire dining experience. We said we were gonna vlog a lot today and um i think we vlogged heat. twice this heat, the heat was just brutal the, it was just not the vibe we're having fun we're having we're so melting. much fun but we're melting no one needs to see that yeah and no one needs to see that like some people are worth melting for i guess casey's one of them i would never ever come back here ever again in this heat ever in my life ever nope. uh, having fun the most uncomfortable fun i've ever, ever had in my life <laughs> That's like the running joke. So we're at the Riviera. We're gonna walk around and enjoy and have a nice little girl, girl dinner. Only this is like not girl dinner pasta Fancy butter. This is dinner. like this is like $150 girl dinner, which like you all know I'm I'm cool with. So we're headed up to Topolino's now. We're gonna walk around the Riviera for a little bit. And then we're actually heading back to Epcot because we have a uh, Remy's Lightning Lane and we ended up prepaying for Guardians and just a little black romper. I'm in some sandals. Let's see how my feet fare. I normally don't do that but we're gonna see and then Casey and I both brought like a change of clothes we just didn't want to like stay in this in Epcot so two Topolinos all right so we just got our starters Casey ended up getting a glass of rosé and I got the what <laughs> Yeah, everyone thinks Casey's it's, getting yeah, a Casey, glass of rosé. Yeah, Casey's yeah, yeah. Casey got the glass of rosé as her starter, and I got the burrata, which is prosciutto, grilled peaches, tomato. Sorry, it's coming in like blurry. I don't know why. There we go. And I'm so excited. Probably gonna be a 10 out of 10 as everything is. And then we also got bread too, so we're gonna enjoy this, and then I'll share what we got for dinner. All right, so we got dinner. I'll make sure to throw it up on the screen. But Casey got the filet, which looks delicious. And I went for the sea scallops with the English pea risotto. I like scallops but i've never actually had an entire dish centered around them but i was feeling a little adventurous today so we're gonna go for it and then after dinner we'll do like a full quick sit down review but so far everything is delicious all right we're skyliner girlies and can we all just take a minute to appreciate casey's t-shirt okay. it says in this world it's just us and it's harry styles with a mickey hat and an f cup ball it's perfect and it's like so her so her so i want to just do a quick little review of one moment we are now She wasn't talking to us all day. Day. I know, now all of a sudden she wants to like be in the way. moment. All right, so she stopped chatting, but I wanted to just do a quick little like review of Topolino's tonight. I thought that the burrata and peach salad was not great. Like I love burrata, so I think the burrata itself was fine. However, that was $19 and the burrata that's at the Bar Riva underneath, you guys have seen from the vlogs, it's massive. The focaccia is delicious and that was only $15. So this one did have only two pieces of prosciutto though and the peaches were like, you'd think that for Florida peaches are in season but they were like very hard and I prefer a little bit of a softer peach. So I thought that that was subpar. Honestly, that was disappointing for $19. Like I would never get it again because I just don't think it was worth the value. But I will say I tried something new tonight. You guys know I always get the classic soul. That's my absolute favorite but I <laughs> Why? Okay, she stopped talking again, thank goodness. But I wanted to say I got something new tonight, which was the seared sea scallops and the English pea risotto. Nine out of 10, I'm only knocking it because I wish there was a little bit more risotto on the plate to finish. I didn't like eating the scallop on its own. I like scallop and risotto together and I kind of realized that tonight. So I would say that. So overall, I thought Topolino's was delicious tonight, but I would not get the salad again. I, I don't think it was worth the value like at all. Just like way too small of a portion for $20 when you can get a full ball of burrata homemade focaccia, tomatoes, and arugula from Bar Riva, but this was your first Topolino's experience. Do you have any ratings? What did you think? Oh, man. It was just, I don't have a, a number rating. It was just Ladies so, and like, first bite, I was like, moments. this would be good. It was so good. Yeah. And it's like made for, I'm just gonna talk over her because she's just like, she's killing the vibe. But I, I think Topolino's is such a good, like good quality meal. That's why Corey and I make it a point on our trips. But like, Casey's never been and I thought it would be fun to like kind of celebrate the girls trip because this is our last night of the girls trip. And it was just really good. So now we are going back to Epcot. We're at the turn. My arm is like her killing. 
traveling. We're at the turnstile and I'm going to show you the beautiful sunset as we're headed back to Epcot to ride Guardians. But that is, that's the night. That's what we got going on. So this is our beautiful sky. I mean, it even looked better back there, but I was vlogging before. And I'll turn the camera. Pause on the whiplash. Can you really see it? Oh yeah, you can. It's just like all like pink and blue, kind of like cotton candy skies. It just looks so gorgeous. Well, hi everyone. I realized that I literally never closed out the Disney vlog. And so I wanted to do that right now. And it was such a beautiful, fun, filled girls trip. We had truly like the best time in the world. I am so glad that we got to go together. And yeah, it was just a fun little like weekend away at Disney. So different than what I normally do when it comes to vlogging. When my fiance and I go to Disney, like Corey and I, because we vlog like every single day. But on this one we didn't. I'm also trying to like cover up this crazy pimple with my pimple patch because it's just giving craziness and like post Disney breakouts from the immense heat but it was so fun i love you guys so much thanks for following along comment down below your favorite part of the disney girls trip vlog and Corey and i are headed to disney in about like a month and change like five six weeks so we're so excited those vlogs are coming too but i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone